Real YouTube is provide information. There are opinions in today's video. So if you don't like hearing opinions, maybe go watch some other YouTubist. I didn't really intend to do the box, it just kind of happened. Um, anyway, so there I was thinking about what video I wanted today, and I decided to do a, a concept that I've been sitting on for a while because I think it's kind of an interesting discussion topic. Um, and that concept is, if you are capable of reading, or you uh, read the title, or had someone else read the title for you, we're going to be talking about the best move of every single type. Um, this is kind of like a hard question because the thing about moves is that they're not equally distributed. Um, you know, so what that means effectively is that a move like Sacred Fire might be example, but I, I like... Wait, what did I just say? It. A move like Sacred Fire might be considered the best fire type move. Um, however, it's not, probably not the like the first move that comes to mind because it's very, very, very limited in its distribution. Um, so I thought it'd be like an interesting concept to talk about the best moves for each individual type of Pokemon, being the types you see below. We're not talking about like physical versus special or anything. We're just talking about the individual types: Bug, Dark, etc. Um, etc. <laughs> oh my god, that's dumb. Um, I also, I want to split this into defensive and offensive moves, so I'm just going to cover both, because it's kind of hard to compare them, like whether or not will o is better than Sacred Fire, for example, so, um, yeah, that's the premise. Well, let's get started. So, we're just going to go in the order that we have here on Serebii, this is the Gen 8 Serebii attack decks, hopefully it's complete, um, and yeah, obviously we're not considering max moves either, so, yeah. First of all, we have Bug, so... I think the easiest way for me to break this down, like, because I actually, I don't have preset ones in advance, I'm doing this live, like, live isn't like I'm figuring it out as we watch, so, because I thought that'd be more interesting, so, um, I think the easiest thing is just to narrow it down to the list we're choosing from. So, good bug moves include, um, we're not talking about max moves, so, like, heal order is like roost, I guess it's okay, um, leech life is like a high base power move that heals you, that's okay, lunge is a high base power move that drops the target's attack, that's alright, megahorn's very powerful, but inaccurate, um, Pollen Puff is a very good contender. Quiver Dance is a good contender. Rage Powder is a good contender. Um, and I think probably Tail Glow is very good as well for support moves. And then U-Turn. So I think in terms of offensive moves, we're between like U-Turn, Lunge, um, and I guess Megahorn. But to me, this is very clear. I think U-Turn is probably the best bug offensive move, um, a move that does damage. The reason for that is because it gives you a free switch, and it's like the most common bug move for a reason. Um, because Bug is a type that doesn't really hit that many Pokemon for super effective damage, uh, it's typically used more, like, yeah, for support moves. Like, the other one we were considering is Pollen Puff, which works either as an offensive Bug move or as a heal pulse to the partner, uh, which is very, like, that's also, like, probably number two in my eyes, um, truthfully. Yeah, I guess we missed over that a second ago, but yeah, Pollen Puff or u are probably the best two. Megahorn would be better, because it does, like, it does a lot of damage, but the, the accuracy just is such a, it's such a problem, in my opinion, so, um... Yeah, so I think U-Turn is a pretty clear offensive pick here. For defensive, Quiver Dance, Rage Powder. Powder is a funny move, but not very good. Um, let's see. Is there any other ones that we have to consider? Tail Glow. I think Tail Glow is an amazing attack, but it's such like a limited distribution. I still think that since we're talking about doubles here, I think I'm going to give it to Rage Powder. The redirection is so amazing when it comes to Pokemon, and even though Rage Powder isn't as good as Follow Me because it, you know, Grass types ignore it and Safety Goggles ignores it, it's still such a good move. Quiver Dance and Tail are both great as well. However, I feel like, yeah, Rage Powder, I feel like, yeah, I mean, even when a Pokemon gets Tail Glow, it doesn't always run it. For example, well, Zerkatree is the big one because, what other Pokemon even get Tail Glow? Okay, nothing gets it this gen. Yeah, I mean, it's it's always had limited distribution. I mean, if this move was on a bunch of Pokemon, it'd be broken. Man, if he's never legal and Volbeat's never good. But yeah, Zergatry often wouldn't even run Tail Glow, whereas, like, it's very hard to imagine an Amoongus, for example, that didn't run Rage Powder. So, for that reason, I'm giving it to, to Rage Powder. Next up, we have Dark. Um, ooh, we have Batty Bad. That is, uh... <laughs> that is an interesting move. Uh, okay, Dark moves that are good. Crunch is obviously kind of the standard Dark move. Dark Void got nerfed. Um... Fake Tears is a good support move. Foul Play is okay. Jawlock is cool, honestly. Um, knock Off, that's going to be... Honestly, spoilers, that's probably it. Nasty Plot. Obstruct Parting Shot, okay. Quash, Snarl. Sucker Punch, Taunt. 
Okay, cool. So it looks like, honestly, in terms of offensive moves, like the ones that are used are like Assurance, which is inconsistent, but good when it hits. If you hit, if the Pokemon is already taking damage in the turn, they'll take uh, 120 damage. But if you don't manage to meet that condition, you only take 60. Beat up is used to support partners with Justified. Um, uh, Brutal Swing can be used to proc uh, your own weakness policy. Crunch is just a solid Dark type move. Same with Dark Pulse. Um, Lariat's a good Dark type move as well, but it, it's good and bad because it ignores the target's defense boost, but it also ignores defense drops which is not ideal um false surrender is just faint attack but doesn't like but stronger faint attack is worse false surrender um yeah I, for me I, I think this is a pretty clear knockoff frankly like knockoff is an amazing move because first of all it's already like it's 65 base power which isn't amazing however it removes the item of the target and if it removes an item it does 1.5 times the damage making it almost 100 base power which is just insane like Targeting a Pokemon with a 100 base power, no drawback move is already really strong. But then when you consider it removes their item as well, that's insane. That's like that's like a very 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 powerful effect. And I think that like in terms of offenses, you know, even though some of these moves are like more unique, like Night Days, I think Knockoff just takes the cake here. Um, yeah, basically like Knockoff is such a good move that like it's funny because even in formats where like uh, for example in 2019 when lots of Pokemon couldn't be knocked off knock off like anything holding a z move and an orb or a mega stone which is very like basically half the half the items at least on most teams would have those slots meaning they couldn't be knock off you would still run knock off in Cinera often um so yeah it's an amazing amazing attack in terms of defense it's a little tr trickier i like topsy turvy a lot however it's inconsistent um taunt is good switcheroo is good snatch still in the game i thought they removed it it's not in the game um Quash is really good, but probably not the best one because it's reliant on like a prankster or on you moving first. Um, parting shot, that's another really good one. I'm saying parting. So far, I think our contention is parting shot and taunt. Um, Obstruct is very good as well. It's just a better protect, I think. Or just to, just to block taunt. I don't know if it blocks taunt. I don't know if it's like king shield or if it's like, yeah. Um, uh, what else? Jaw lock is cool, but not great. It's just a, it's like a mean look that works on you as well, but it does oh, Jawlock does damage, I forgot about that, never mind. Jawlock is a cool attack, but definitely not better than knockoff. Um, Fake Tears is good support, but I wouldn't say it's the best. Okay, so I think it's between Taunt and Parting Shot. I'm gonna give this one to Taunt, I think. Um, an amazing attack that just, like, shutting down all of your opponent's status moves is just so valuable that, um... Shutting down all of your opponent's status moves is such a valuable thing, and, like, Taunt has been extremely successful in competitive Pokemon over its history. To be fair, Parting Shot didn't have great distribution until, like, well, honestly, until they gave it to Incineroar, uh, and Persian was the other one who would use it. It's definitely a good move, and I think up there, like, for sure. However, yeah, I wouldn't say it's the best. Next up, we have Dragon. Um, let's go through this. Clanging, Scales, Clanger, Clanger is Soul. Clanger is Soul might be, we don't have that many good Dragon support moves, I think. Um, Draco Meteor, Dragon Dance, Darts, Hammer, Pulse, Turn a beam, Dynamax Cannon. Depletion Worm. Okay, so there's very few. Let's just support first, because that's easier. Our only support moves are Clangor Soul. Um Dragon Dance. And is that it? Dragon Dance and Clang. Okay, so we're choosing between two. I'm gonna give this one to Dragon Dance. Uh Clangor Soul cuts your HP, and even though it's an Omni Boost, I think Dragon Dance is typically more useful and more consistent. Um Especially because if you're using Dragon Dance, or using Clang or Soul on a, on a physical attacker, then you might even prefer Dragon Dance. Because, like, on the, you basically get defense and special defense for a third of your health, which is kind of wild. So, or, like, which might not be worth it at that point, especially because, like, normally Pokemon that would use moves like that aren't super bulky. Um, so, yeah, I think I think Dragon Dance being one of the two options that we have to pick from here is probably the best one. In terms of offensive moves, it's a little tougher. I think that, like, the best moves are... Breaking Swipe is also a really good support, like offensive support move or move, support move that does damage. Um, I think the best moves are, you could argue Clanging Scales, but I actually think Draco Meteor is one of the best ones, even though it misses. Draco Meteor, Dragon Darts, um, and then I guess it's Dynamax Cannon and Eternity Beam. I mean, honestly, it's probably Dynamax Cannon. Realistically, it's a 100 base power move with no drawback. Uh, and if the target is Dynamaxed, it does double base power. So I think Dynamax Cannon is probably the best um, Dragon-type move. However, 
in terms of non-exclusive moves or moves you can actually use in the format i'd say draco meteor honestly even though it misses like it's such a powerful move coming off these special dragon type pokemon and it's had extreme success throughout all the competitive pokemon's history so i think it makes some sense to include it as like yeah one of the one of the best for sure honorable mention is dragon darts i think um that's a really cool move however the fact that it's physical, like, I think Dragon Darts works specifically on Dragapult because of the high base speed and the clear body effect. Um, I'm not sure how good it would be other than that. But yeah, I think I'm going to give this one to Draco Meteor. Electric is next. I think there's a lot of electric moves. I have some. Um, Aura Wheel, that's a really strong contender. Um, it's a it's a 110 base power move that raises your speed. That's ridiculous. Bolt Beak, however, is also very good. Bolt Beak, Aura Wheel. Um, Bolt Strike is very good as well. Oh, 210 base power. Catastrophe, but let's see. Discharge, Eerie Impulse, Electrify. Electrify is really cool. Electroweb, um, Ion Deluge, Magnetic, Flux, Nuzzle. I think it would move to this damage, but it's still like used in a supportive way. I'm going to count it as a support move. That doesn't really affect anything so far. Like, Struggle Bug and Breaking Swipe weren't winning, but um, yeah. Nuzzle, Plasma Fist. There's actually a lot of like kind of unique electric moves. Pika Pow. Let's see. Thunder Wave, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch. Ooh, there's a lot of good moves. Zing Zap, <laughs> Zippy Zap. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Let's think about this one. So I think the moves. Let's do defense first. Uh, yeah, supportive first. I think the moves we're deciding between are um, Eerie Impulse, I guess. Electrify, I think, is actually very far up there. Um, Electroweb, Nuzzle. Yeah, I, it's either, I think, Nuzzle or Electrify. I'm going to give it to Nuzzle because Paralysis is such a broken status, and the fact that Nuzzle can't uh, can't miss, and that it, like, you know, it inflicts Paralysis, and you can't get taunted to stop it, I think is really good. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, like, because I would have put Thunder Wave here, except that Thunder Wave is, like, Nuzzle, but worse. Um, yeah. Um, I really like Electrify, but the thing is, like, it's kind of gimmicky, and, like, yeah, like, it's, it's honestly pretty gimmicky, and if you, like, guess wrong, you basically, in order for Electrify to be really good, you'd probably have to be moving first, and you'd have to also have, like, some decent bulk. Like, so basically, like, a Prankster Pokemon with Electrify would be broken, I think, but, yeah. That, since that doesn't exist, like, I don't know, Nuzzle can work on a lot of different Pokemon, whether they're super bulky or just fast in general, that's good, yeah. Um, let's talk about Electric Offensive moves. Zing Zap's a great move, but not better than Aura Wheel. Volt Switch is good, um... I think it's between Volt Switch. Plasma Fist is actually ridiculous, so I think we're gonna include that as well. Uh, Overdrive is good as well. Um, Fusion Bolt is also good, although I guess not better than Plasma Fist. Um, and then I think it comes down to Bolt Beacon or Wheel. So, whew. Plasma Fist. I don't think like I love Volt Switch, and like if it was only common moves, I'd probably put Volt Switch up here. As number one but in terms of every move i think we have to drop it for now because some of these other moves are just ridiculous plasma fist is a 100 base power physical move that doesn't miss that changes normal types to electric moves uh electric type um bolt beak does a uh, double damage if it attacks first and aura wheel is 110 base power no drawback doesn't miss i feel like if you gave all electric types these three moves i think it wouldn't be plasma fist so i think it would be either aura wheel or bolt beak that's my assumption so i'm going to say Or we'll change his type, which is both good and bad. I'm going to give it to Bolt Beak. The ability to do 170 damage just for attacking first is ridiculous. And, like, if you gave that to, like, Tapu Koko or, like, so many Pokemon, that would just be insane. So, I think Bolt Beak is the winner here. Though, I think that was a close one. Fairy's next. Um, not that many. Charm. Let's do support first. Let's go through. Let's just talk about uh, support. Charm. Decorate. Fairy Lock. Fairy Wind. Floral Healing. Oh yeah, Floral is the comfy move. Flower Shield, Geomancy. <laughs> uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, why? Well, we should probably just stop. Misty Terrain, Sparkly Swirl, Strange Steam, Sweet Kiss. Um, this is an easy one. I think Geomancy is by far the best move here. The if if we weren't if we're not talking about Xerneas or like about Xerneas' specific move, then I think we should talk about Decorate. I think it's either Decorate or, or Geomancy for support moves. Um. Geomancy doubling your special attack, special defense, and speed at the cost of two turns or one turn if you use Power Herb, which you should do if you're using Geomancy. Um, the next option is Decorate, which um, raises your partner's attack and special attack by two stages. This move that like is 
kind of use just to make alchemy viable and yeah like alchemy top cut at least one regional just kind of because of this move so if you gave it to more distribution like imagine if togekiss got decorate because it works through protect you can protect and then decorate and you're just insane at that point um yeah geometry though i think takes the cake and in terms of offensive moves like Fleur cannon does recoil so it's not that um Uh, Light of Ruin does recoil. Moonblast is honestly probably it. Moonblast and Playroff are kind of the typical ones. I'm gonna say Moonblast. It doesn't miss and it has higher base power. And yeah, it's just like a better Playroff, but for special attackers. So yeah, Moonblast I think takes the cake. Fighting's next. How are we doing, everybody? How's everybody feeling? Um, okay, cool. Let's do support first. Um, bulk up. Counter, detect. I don't know. I think Final Gambit counts as offense. Um, map block. No retreat. Octolock. Quick guard. Power punch. Okay, there's not that many. Um, it looks like we're deciding between... The good ones are... I guess bulk up's okay. Counter's okay. Um, I feel like map block is a clear winner here. Like, Oxalock and No Retreat are good as well, but map block is, it blocks, it's like a protect for your whole team that only blocks damaging moves that can only be used in the first turn a Pokemon is out. Like, it's Greninja's signature move, and if anything else got it, like, it would be very strong. It actually, map block Smeargle, I believe, top cut the US Nationals into, or North American Internationals in 2017. Did I miss Focus Energy? Where's Focus Energy? Is that, is that a normal type move? Hmm, that's weird. Um... Yeah, I think map block is probably the best the best one by far. Do they take focus energy out of the game? Other than that, I mean, no retreat is pretty good as well. It raises all of your stats and makes it so you can't switch. I think if, like, something like Conkholder got this, it'd be actually really strong. So, runner-up is no retreat. Uh, in terms of offensive moves, the, the obvious ones are body press, because this allows you to be bulky and offensive with one move, which is a really cool concept. Um, brick break, break screens is good. Close combat's kind of the strongest fighting move that has, like, the, there is a drawback and drop, it drops your defenses, but it doesn't miss, which is really good. Um, drain punch is used often. Final gambit is good. Flying press is cool, but not great. Um, low kick is good in certain metagames, but not dynamics metagames. Um, sacred sword and secret sword are cool. But not super good. I feel like this is this is close combat in my opinion. I think close combat's the best fighting type move. Um, yeah, it has like almost the highest power aside from like focus punch, which is too inconsistent, or like high jump kick, which has a huge drawback, or meteor salt, which is like hyper beam. Yeah, I think close combat's the best one here. It's the highest base power with like no accuracy drop. Fire is next. Um, there's actually a lot of fire moves. Uh, let's do support first. Support moves. Not that many. I guess I'm missing them all. There's always just like they do damage. Um, there's only actually two support category moves here, and they are uh, Will O Wisp and Sunny Day. But to me, the obvious answer this whole time is going to be Will O Wisp. Like, yeah, I mean, Will O Wisp is an amazing move. The accuracy stinks, but like, it's better than it used to be, which is 75. And I don't know. Like, it's it's just such like burn is such a powerful status condition that a move that just burns the opponent is really amazing. In terms of offensive moves, contenders are Blast Burn. I mean, Blue Flare is a great move. Probably not Blast Burn. There's probably better ones. Blue Flare is really good, but inaccurate. Burn Up is cool. Um, Eruption is probably one of our top runners. Fire Blast isn't as good as some of the other options. Um, Flamethrower is not as good. Flare Blitz is a good move, but I don't think it's better than um, Eruption. So is there anything better than Eruption here? Lava Plume. Magma Storm's cool. If it hit 100%, it'd be broken. Uh, Love Bloom is better in singles than doubles. Uh, Mystical Fire is not super good. Overheat's great. Not better than Eruption. Pyroball is cool as well. I think if this had a wider distribution, then it would be pretty good. Um, what's, the, what's the percent burn rate in this? 10%. Never mind. That sucks. I thought it was 30. Sacred Fire is the other, I think, front runner here. Um, but Sizzly Slide might also be good. Who knows? Um, or V Create. Okay, so the runners are V Create, Sacred Fire, and Eruption. V creates ridiculously powerful. Uh, if more fire type Pokemon got this, it'd be actually broken. Um, basically, like in terms of offense, we have like V create who drops your stats but hits insanely hard. We have um, Eruption, which is like HP dependent, but if you have full HP, just will demolish people. And then we have Sacred Fire, which is a 50% burn rate um, and does like moderate damage and is physical as well. 
I think we're going to eliminate Sacred Fire because just the other two moves are so insane. Um, so it's, it's either Eruption or V-Create. Um, I think I think I'm going to give this to Eruption. The strength of Eruption is that it hits both uh, targets with this insane base power. So even though V-Create could like, in theory, one hit KO like most like a bunch of Pokemon depending on who is using it, the fact that Eruption gives you the potential to smack both Pokemon, um, I think is really, really, really valuable. And, um, yeah, like, because we're playing doubles, like, it, like even if you take out one Pokemon with V-Create, because you're dropping your defenses, there's a very good chance you can get, re you know, revenge KO'd by the partner, so, I like, I like Eruption. Even though, like, all of them have drawbacks, like, Sacred Fire might not burn, it can miss, Eruption is HP dependent, and V-Create lowers your stats, I think Eruption's probably the best one. Next up, we have Flying. There's not that many Flying moves, so this might be difficult. Um, Acrobatics. Aeroblast is pretty strong. Uh, we're doing offensive first this time. Beak Blast is cool. Uh, you can It burns if you make contact, uh, but I think it... What's the priority on this? Oh, yeah, it's, it's negative priority, which is pretty bad. Brave Bird is very good. Um, Dragon Ascent is very good. You know, it's funny that Brave Bird and Dragon Ascent have the same base power. I actually didn't know that. Um... Hurricane's a good move, we can miss. Roost. Oh, we're talking about that. Tailwind. Um, in terms of our offensive moves, I think we're kind of deciding between Brave Bird, Dragon Ascent, and... Um, is that Hurricane, I guess? I think this is a clear Dragon Ascent. Like, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's the drawback is it lowers your defenses, but oftentimes you'd rather have your defenses dropped than lose HP, because if you get a KO with Dragon Ascent, like, and your opponent doesn't hit you that turn, that gives you the option of, like, switching out or, like, you know, reassessing the situation... Whereas with Brave Bird, if you do a ton of damage, like, you could, you just, like, lose a bunch of health, and that's not great for survivability. So, therefore, like, because defense drops can be overwritten, whereas HP drops cannot, I think this is a clear Dragon Ascent one. I mean, Hurricane's good, too. I would put Hurricane maybe over, over her Dragon Ascent if it was 100% accurate all the time, but the condition that it has to be in rain, um, to be 100% accurate really hurts it. Um, in terms of support moves, uh, I think this is probably Tailwind. It's an amazing move, and, like, yeah, I mean, Whimsicott is used almost exclusively because it has Prankster Tailwind, and any Pokemon with Tailwind is kind of viable in this format, in my opinion. Even Pokemon like Noivern or Sigilyph or things that aren't traditionally thought of as super good. So, yeah, I mean, Tailwind doubling your speed stats for four turns is amazing when it comes to support, and um, the fact that it now goes into change immediately is very, very powerful. All right, this is we're almost at the halfway point. We're on Ghost. Ghost has some cool support moves. Confuse Ray, Curse, Destiny Bond, Grudge... Um, kind of a trick-or-treat let's see i like destiny bond i like is that really all there is it was less than i expected huh i like destiny bond i like trick-or-treat i think those are probably our front runners here like spite confuse ray curse grudge aren't super good curse is like good on a non-ghost type pokemon so i don't know where to, where to but it's, it's, a, it's a typeless move on a non-ghost type pokemon um so i don't know yeah grudge not great lick not great I think I'm actually going to give this to Trick or Treat. Uh, I would have given it to Destiny Bond in a non-Dynamax format, but because Destiny Bond doesn't work on Dynamax Pokemon, I think it's not great. Trick or Treat's really cool because you can use it defensively and offensively. You can turn your opponent's Pokemon to Ghost types, which allows you to hit them with like Dark or Ghost type moves for more damage. Or you can use it on like a normal or Dark type Pokemon of your own to give it a Fighting uh, immunity. So I really like Trick or Treat. I think it's cool. In terms of offensive moves, um, hmm. Phantom Force, Shadow Ball. Shadow Force is just better Phantom Force, so that's it. I think Shadow Force is probably the best one. Um, of course, it's a two-turn move, but it goes through Protect, and it's 120 base power. Um, so, yeah. I mean, Spectral Thief is also really good. Yeah, Spectral Thief is also really strong. So, I think, yeah, maybe it should be Spectral Thief. Yeah, actually, Spectral Thief. The fact that you steal, the fact that you steal uh, offensive move, uh, stat boost is really strong. Spirit Shackle is good as well because it lets you um, trap the opponent, but I think Spectral Thief is probably better. Um, yeah, Spectral Thief and then Shadow Phantom Shadow Force, I would say. All right, halfway through, let's get to Grass. Uh, this is an easy one, I think, but we'll go through it anyway. But yeah, I think we all know what this move, which one, which one's this going to be? Um, okay, support moves: Aromatherapy, Cotton Guard, Cotton Spore, Force Curse. Grass Whistle, Grassy Terrain, Ingrain, Jungle he Jungle Healing. Oh, that one hasn't come out yet. Sleep Powder, Sappy Seed. <sighs> Snap Trap. Forgot this was a move. It's so funny. Snap 
Spiky Shield, Spore, Strength Sap, uh, Synthesis, Worry Seed. It's good Spore. Spore is broken. Um, Spore is actually super broken, in my opinion, and yeah, like, I don't have that much to say about it. Like, sleep is an amazing condition, and the fact that you can just, like, yeah, put people to sleep with no drawback, except that it doesn't work in grass types, is ridiculous. In terms of offensive moves, um, drum beating's pretty good, though I wouldn't say it's the best. Uh, Leaf Storm is good. I have a feeling I know what this one's gonna be, where we should just go through all the way anyway. Power Whip is good. Seed Flare, I think, is probably gonna be it. What's the percentage? It's 1 in 3, right? Oh, it's 40%. Yeah, I mean, I think Seed Flare is probably the winner here. There's a lot of good Grass-type moves, and like, Wood Hammer, and Power Whip, and Leaf Storm, but if Seed Flare actually got distribution, even though it's only 85% accurate, the fact that it drops Special Defense 40% of the time by two stages is ridiculous, especially when you consider it's a 120 base power move. Like, if you want to use Leaf Storm over Seed Flare, you'd have 10 more base power and 5 more accuracy, and every time you used it, you drop your Special Attack by two stages, which is, this is the reverse effect, which is... 40% of the time, you drop their special defense by two stages, which is just ridiculous. Next up, we have ground. Ground is cool. Um, drill run, earth power. Hi We're going to do offensive this time. Earthquake, fissure. Um, preachy, preachy, blades. Stomping tantrum. Not that many. Okay. In terms of offensive move and then the, the Zygarde moves. Um, it's going to be one of the restricted Pokemon moves. If we're talking about regular, like, or, like just typical ground moves, I'd say high horsepower is probably the best one. Um, but in terms of the actual all-ground moves, Pritchy Pritchy Blades is pretty powerful. It's a 120 base power move that hits both targets. In fact, I like Thousand Arrows and Thousand Waves. Um, one of them hits Pokemon in the, in the air and puts them on, like, on the ground. Um, the second one... Um, Traps opponents. Those are both amazing moves. However, yeah, Pritchard Pritchard Blattis is just ridiculous. Even though it's not 100% accurate, like, the damage output is insane. A 120 base power spread move that doesn't hit your partner is ridiculous. So, yeah, I think it goes to Pritchard Pritchard Blattis. In terms of defensive moves, I mean, there's not that many. Shore Up, Rototiller. Is that, like, that's, like, it, right? It's, like, literally those two in Mud Sport. I mean, I guess Shore Up is the best one, a ground-type move that heals half, but heals even more in Sandstorm. Actually, yeah, that's really good. I think it heals two-thirds in Sandstorm. Um, it's only on Palisand as far as I'm aware. However, like, if it got wider distribution, it would actually be broken. Like, imagine Tyranitar with this. I don't know. That'd be so scary. You could run over Protect if you wanted. Ice is cool. Okay, let's talk about Ice. Um, Aurora Veil is a front runner for support moves. Freeze Shock is cool, but it's a two-turn move. Freeze Dry is actually, that might be one of our lowest base power contenders, because, just because the effect is so good. Freezy Frost, don't know what that does, but it has 100 base power. Um, Frost Breath always crits. Glacier is a, is like icy wind but better. Um, ice beam, ice burn. What's the percentage on this? Not that it's a thirty percent burn. Who even learns this? Okay. Um, ice fang, ice hammer, ice punch, ice shard, icicle crash, icicle spear, icy wind, powder snow, sheer cold. Okay, so there's not that many support moves, and the clear, the obvious answer to me is Aurora Veil. Uh, Aurora Veil is definitely the best ice type support move in my opinion. Um, reflect and light screen, but with the condition on being inhale. Like if you get it up, it's so powerful and like. I mean, the effect is so good that, like, pretty much Lapras kind of thrives in the metagame off this effect alone, right? Like, people are on Lapras pretty much exclusively for this effect. In terms of offensive moves, I mean, there's a good, there's a ton of good ones. Um, I would say our, our contenders right now are Freeze Dry. I don't think Icicle Crash or Icicle Spear are, are noteworthy. Ice Hammer is good, but not good enough, I think, because it lowers your speed, so it's only used on Trick Room Pokemon. Um, Ice Burn's a two-turn move. Frost Breath. I honestly think... I honestly think it might be freeze dry. Like the fact that you hit water types, which is one of Ice's resistance, is so strong. And even though the base power isn't very high, it, like the effect is so good, and it doesn't miss either, which is really nice. Like Icicle Spear doesn't miss, but is inconsistent because we don't know how many times it'll hit. Icicle Crash misses. Ice Punch and Ice Shard are weak. Ice Hammer misses. Ice Fang misses. Ice Burn is two turns. Ice Beam is great as well. That's probably the other contender. But like, basically, you trade twenty base power for a, a super effective hit on Ice on water types, which is really good. Um, yeah. I'm gonna give it to, I'm gonna give it to Freeze Dry. Unconventional. Normal. Okay, there's a ton of normal moves. This is gonna, oh, guys, this is impossible. Okay. Um, let's do offensive first. That should be easier. We're just gonna look, we're not, because for this one, I'm not even, gonna, I'm not gonna read all of them. I'm just gonna look at the, or I'm only gonna look at the ones that are physical or special. Um, Boom Burst, that's a contender. Body Slam is alright. Um, oh, jeez. Double Edge is a very strong front runner. Endeavor. 
Um, explosion is actually pretty good. Extreme speed is actually pretty good. Um, Jesus, why is normal the hardest one? What are we going to say so far? Explosion, extreme speed, double edge. There's guillotine and head charge, which I don't think are amazing. Hold back, hold hands. Celebrates on here somewhere. Hyper beam, hyper fang. Judgment, oh boy. God. Last resort, max strike, mega kick, mega punch, multi attack, natural gift. Ah! Wait, is judgment just multi attack now? Wait, is multi attack strong? Oh, multi attack is physical, but still. Um, pulverizing pancake, quick attack, rage, rapid spin, razor wind. This is hard. The support moves are what's really gonna be hard here, to be honest. Super Fang. Techno Blast. Oh god, okay. Strong contenders are Weather Ball, Explosion, Extreme Speed, Judgment. Judgment being special. Um. I honestly have no idea. This is overwhelming. Um, Endeavor is a good one as well. I just got an email for... Well, never mind. I don't want to talk about that. That was just a weird email yet. Um, I like Explosion. I like Extreme Speed. I like... I like Double Edge. I like Judgment. Judgment, like, wouldn't work the same on, on Pokemon that aren't I, Arceus, though. So, I, I guess... Okay, we're not doing Judgment. This is so difficult. I didn't expect Normal to have this many. Like, I knew it was a lot, but I did not expect this many. Um, this is tough, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't even done the hard part yet. I think I'm gonna say Extreme Speed. It's really, it's really tough, but the plus two uh, priority is so good, um, and 80 base power is not bad at all either. The thing is that Extreme Speed doesn't have a ton of distribution, but it's used relatively often on the Pokemon that get it. Like, Arcanine will run it, I've seen Lucario run it, and then obviously Mega Rayquaza runs it as well. There was even an Extreme Speed token guess that was used a bit this format. Um, not a ton, of course, but a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's honestly, this one's tough. I didn't say Boom Burst because it, it hits the partner as well. And now we have the support move. So, I mean, I guess we have to go through all of them. Um, belly Drum, Baton Pass, Acupressure are, are all good. Um, copycat, Court Chain, Disable, Encore, Entrainment. Fake Out, I think, is a front runner for us. Um, it's a very good move. Glare is a very good move. Helping Hand is a very good move. Oh my god, they're all normal types. Hold Hands doesn't really do anything. Um, milk drink, pain split, recover, simple beam, shell smash, slack off, sketch, sing. I could do cop out and just say sketch because it turns into every move. <laughs> um, that actually is probably the honest answer. If more Pokemon got sketched, then they'd, they'd learn every move. Um, but we're, we're going to assume that it doesn't do that. Uh, tea Time, Teacher Dance, Wish, Yawn. I, I'm going to say it's between Yawn and Fake Out. I'm going to say Fake Out. Like, I, I, I can't disrespect my my old my old time favorite move like that. Like, it, Fake Out's been so prevalent throughout all of his history. I won Worlds with Double Fake Out. Um, yawn is great. There's so many good support moves here, to be honest, that it's too hard to, like, actually... I don't know. It says all the information, so I, I'm gonna say fake out. I think that's probably proper. Okay, poison. Thank goodness we have a short one. Let's do support first. Venom Drench, Toxic Thread, um, Toxic Spikes, Toxic Purify. I forgot about that. What the heck? Who does Purify? Oh yeah, Pukamuku. <laughs> it's funny. Um, Max Ooze, Gunk Shot, Gastros, and Coil. Ooh, Acid Spray, Acid Armor. Um, I'm gonna say, looking through these again, I'm gonna say, I think it might be Coil. Coil's really good. Attack, defense, and accuracy is very, very strong. My Lodic has been running that a lot this season. Um, Toxic is good as well. However, like, normally in VGC, you don't want to drag out the games for too long, which typically hurts Toxic, although it was used a lot in 2017. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Coil for support moves. And then in terms of offensive moves, there's not that many. Um, Gunk Shot. Honestly, I think a Sludge Bomb. Like, a 30% poison chance, a 90% base power move, and then um, a 100% accuracy. 
condition, I think that's pretty strong. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say sludge bomb. It's just psychic next. There's a lot of psychic moves as well, though now it's less concerning over um after normal. Agility, ally switch, that's a contender. Um calm mind, amnesia barrier, cosmic power, glitzy glow, don't know what that is. Gravity, um, Juard split, Juard swap, heal block, heal pulse, healing wish. Hypnosis, imprison, okay, that's a good one. Light screen. Magic room, magic powder, magic powder school. Power split, power swap. I actually used power swap to get second at Worlds in 2012 on my executor. Um, skill swap, I love that. Speed swap, love that. Trick, I think it's trick room, honestly. Like, trick room has been every, like, trick room is used every format. I don't know if I've ever seen a format where trick room wasn't popular um, or very strong, one or the other. Um, I think trick room is just an amazing support move. One of the, honestly, one of the best moves in VGC and. Yeah, I think that like there's a ton of great moves on this on this on this uh, list, but I think Trick Room's probably the best support moves. Um, Alex, which is up there, to be honest. <laughs> Looking at the offensive moves, Hyperspace Hole is actually good. Light that burns the sky is. Oh wait, that's even never mind. Um, Luster Purge, Photon Photon Geyser is really good. It's probably Photon Geyser. Um, prismatic laser is like hyper beam. Um, psycho boost is very good as well. Psy strike is very good. Okay. Synchronize. So I think it's either Psy strike or photon geyser. They have the same base power. One of them hits the defense stat, but uses the user special attack. It's like Psy shock. Uh, the other is f just uses whether your attack or special attack is higher. I like photon geyser more, I think, because you can bluff being physical or special or like maybe bluff is the wrong word, but people won't be able to tell just by looking at it. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Rock type moves is, oh, thank goodness, very short. Um, in terms of support moves, we've got Rock Polish, Sandstorm, Stealth Rock, Tar Shot, and Wide Guard. I think Wide Guard is probably the answer here. Um, it's not that good this format, truthfully, but in past formats, it's been very good, and I expect at some point it to come back and be good again. Um, Tar Shot's cool as well. But not, like, super great in my opinion. Stealth Rock... Oh, oh, I'm sorry, singles players. It's not Stealth Rock and doubles. We don't use Stealth Rock and doubles. Sandstorm's not good. And that's kind of most of them. Like, I guess you could say... Is there any rock moves that do damage that, like, are supportive? I guess you could argue maybe Excel Rock falls into that category. Maybe you could argue Rock Slide as well. But, yeah, I think it's Wide Guard. And then offensively... I mean, there's some powerful moves here. Head Smash is 150 base power. Um, rock Wrecker is 150 base power. But the obvious... The, the clear answer is Rock Slide. Uh, hits both targets and there's a 30% chance of flinching each of them. That's broken. Yeah, it's one of the most broken moves of all time. It's it's definitely Rock Slide. Steel. Okay. Um, Anger Shot's cool. Let's do Offensive first. Behemoth Bash. That's very strong. And Behemoth Blade as well. It's the same thing. Um, let's see. Gear Grind misses. I hate it. King Shield supportive. Metal Burst, Metal Sound, Mirror Shot. I mean, in terms of, like, regular steel moves, I guess, like, Iron Head and Flash Cannon are used the most. Meteor Mash is good, but misses. Um, yeah, there's not that many Heavy Slam, Gyro Ball. It's obviously Behemoth Bash or Behemoth Blade, whatever. Like, yeah, I mean, doing double damage to a Dynamax Pokemon, 100 base power that doesn't miss, that's ridiculous. In terms of non-legendary moves, I'd say probably Anchor Shot, actually, like... 80 base power and a trapping effect is very strong, I think. Um, yeah, it's like Iron Head, but instead of flinching, you trap, which is better. Um, so yeah, I think I'd say Anchor Shot. And in terms of support moves, uh, Totemize, Gear Grind, or Shift Gear, where's that? Iron Defense, King Shield, Shift Gear. I think probably King Shield, honestly. Like, it can be, you can be hit with certain moves through it, but like... Although it's only minus one attack now. Maybe it's not King Shield now. Maybe Shift Gear, actually. Plus plus one attack, plus two speed is kind of broken. Yeah, I'm, I think it actually is Shift Gear. That's a great support move, in my opinion. Plus, yeah, just getting plus two speed is already good. Like, Autonomize, for example. And then you get plus one attack as well. Like, if Celesteela got this, it'd be actually terrifying, in my opinion. So, yeah, we're going to say that. And, hey, we're on our last type. Let's go, everybody. We have... We did it. We did it, Reddit. It's been 40 minutes. I can't believe that. That's wild. Um... Okay, offensive is easy. It's it's Fish's Rend. I don't even need to look at the rest of these. It's it's Fish's Rend. I mean, it's Fish's Rend. Uh, the other uh, contenders here are probably like Scald. Where's Scald? 
Oceanic Operetta. Who's that? Origin Pulse is good as well. Not as good as Fish's Friend, though. Yeah, Scald, Scald, Origin Pulse, Fish's Friend are the best ones. Steam Eruption. Actually, wait. Steam Eruption is just better Scald. Um, but, yeah. So, Steam Eruption, Origin Pulse, and Fish's Rend are the best ones. In my opinion, it's actually Fish's Rend. 170 base power if you move first is ridiculous. Um, and in terms of support moves, we've got a couple good ones. Um, Aqua Jet's kind of supportive. You could maybe argue it counts, but it's not the answer, I think. Um, Life Dew is very good, in my opinion. Um, Soak is very good. Oh, Water Spout. We totally forgot about Water Spout. Yeah, Water Spout's very good as well. Still Fish's Rend, though. Uh, there's actually not that many Water type support moves. Soak, Water Spout, or uh, Sport, Withdraw, Life Dew. There's not that many. I think it's Soak. The ability to turn any type into Water type is good both defensively and offensively. I say defensively for two reasons. The first is you can use it on yourself. Um, I top forward a regional with Soak type of Fiendi plus Shedinja, uh, where you'd Soak the Shedinja if they didn't have any answers to it and then just win the game because they couldn't touch it. Um, you can also use Soak to uh, defensively in a different way in that you can override a Pokemon's typing, turning it to Water type. Which, um, for those of you who don't know, if a Pokemon uses an attack that's the same type as the Pokemon, um, itself. Like, if a fire type uses a fire move, it gets 1.5 times stronger. So, with Soak, you can actually use that to take away that boost by turning them into water type, and, yeah, then they do, like, way less damage. It's basically, like, an Intimidate or a Snarl, um, that stacks with Intimidate and Snarl, doing, like, a, like, it's more effective than two Intimidates or two Snarls, for example. So, you can use it like that. You can also use it offensively in that you, like, lead a fast Soak Pokemon and then an Electric or Grass type user, um, and then just, yeah, smack something with, like, Scarf Soak plus, you know, Max Lightning or Max Grass or whatever. That's, that's a strategy that was used a little bit um, in the past. So, yeah, um, I think Soak is probably the best support move. With all that being said, we actually finished everything. So, that's my take on the types, the best offensive and support moves um, for each type. Let me know if you, if you like this video. I consider doing one, like, with the worst moves of every single type. So, if you're interested in that, if you like this video, let me know. Please leave a like and a comment and subscriber, and I'll see you next time. Peace.